Okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on just for an example the animations of my Karate Man. For anyone who wants to use Switch Mat, Switch Max, and the animations and code that I've just the sample stuff I've done so that you can do these yourself. Let's go to an, uh, I think it's animations. No, uh, yes it is. Okay, let's go GIF Gamer. Okay, here it is. Make sure you open this in full screen. You won't be able to use it properly. So let's go here. Test in player. This icon up here. This is how you test your animation. Test in player. As you can see, it's running there. So, if you want to do your own graphics, I'll open the other one later to show you how you do your own graphics. But let's just say the Karate Man. You want to change his skin color, the shadow color, and the suit color. You, this here, from stand all the way to roundhouse. All these are the animations. So let's start with stand. This is the color, the skin, and the black, the black background. So let's click this to hide all these so you can see through all the other ones. Okay, stand. Let's change the black. Here you got, you can change it to green. So you can change it to pink. So you can change the the black background, the skin color, or the color of his suit. So let's obviously make the, that black. Let's change his uh, suit color. Let's make him green. Now if you test him player, every time he does an animation, it's going to, he's going to go white because I need to do all the other animations to make them green as well. You have to make every single frame of every animation green with a green suit to match. So you just basically go through every animation, go into the subcategories, change the color to green. Now, instead of doing this manually, watch this. Instead of clicking this, what I'll do is click this icon here, add to library. Just name it anything you want, doesn't matter. And it'll come here in the fill option. So what you do is just go color and just click on the fill. And just do that with every animation and change the color of, of everything you want. In fact, let's just make this funky. Let's make it all multicolor, just to show. Uh, color. Blue. Color. Yellow. Watch it go all funky. One second. There we go. So you just change the colors as you as you need. Just if you want it all one suit color, just change the color of every single sprite animation. And and here you see all the text. Now, as you can see, they're in doubles. So what you got here? Watch this. If you can see, if you've got enough resolution to see. Whoops, something's loading. Um. That's the, the bottom one is the shadow color. If I make that, if I drag that above, the shadow will go on top. That's just a shadow. You don't really need the shadow, but it, may, it looks better with the shadow. So what you do is you click on, let's say you want to change Jeremy is the final. Hold shift and click the other, uh, click one, hold shift and click the other. And you can select and edit both at the same time. Then make sure this arrow here, selection tool is clicked so you can see that. Otherwise you won't be able to see this edit button. Click edit. Uh, dude is the boss, uh, the final, there we go, see, you just click, you don't have to click, you click apply if it hasn't already, if that hasn't already ticked. Dude is the final and do the same. Chicken in the coop. And what you can do, close all that and double click these as well with the selection tool selected and change this to, you can set to preset font colors or just change the color, change the font. You can change the color as well. If you click this, it's going to go, the, the shadow is going to go as well if you've got them both ticked. So manually just select the top one, which is the white, and you can change the color of the text as well. Now, as for the these animations, these are, these are more complex animations of, as you can see, there's plenty of shapes that I've drawn with these animations. And um, 
don't worry about editing the game one. What I'll do, I'll open the social media one. Okay. Now here, in the social media one, for example, you've got these ones here. These are the, the things that are thrown at the karate man, you'll see. If I do a test in player, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft. Okay, so what we got is, let's go low punch, which is the first one, which is Facebook. I've only got a couple of these saved in the library, but you can just, you just all you do is save them in the library and choose an, just choose an image and then click this to here, open image and find your image. Now, what we got, I'll show you something. See if I can go to... Uh, Alright, let's choose this, choose this one, the, the Google one. No, no, that's got a transparent color too. I'll just, I'll just give an example. I'll just start with the show with the Facebook one. Alright. It's already transparent anyway, but if you have an image like this and you've got a background color that you want to change, what you do is it has a transparent color. Click the details in, in the export settings. has a transparent color and you choose the color. Any of these colors, you can use the eyedropper or just you click here and manually type out whatever um, hex code, color code you want to make a transparent color. And you can use tolerance. If it's on, say, 0 or 1, it will only choose that color. If you choose 99%, it will, it will ex expand onto other colors as well. Um, if you've got a transparent background in a not so good resolution image, you really want to increase the tolerance and test different colors and t tolerance levels to try and get the the background to disappear without any of the actual image. Ex experiment with it. You'll you get the idea. And if you need to learn more about that, I can teach you. Okay, there's a lot of things you can figure out, but I'm just showing the basics. So let's just say out of the we use the library items: low punch, high punch thrower, low kick thrower. Let's all make them Google and watch happen. They'll all It'll just throw Google's at you. Now, what you can do, let's just go to low punch, the first one. This item here, click it, edit, fill, transform. Now, all these things mean something. This here is the width of the, Im of the image. This here is the height of the image. Now, it's set to, as you can see down the bottom right, the width 70, height 70. So, if, you, if I go to 90 and 66, it's going to stretch it. Watch, it's going to be stretched, and it's going to be stretched beyond the shape of the... See? It's going to go stretch beyond 70. The first one's going to stretch beyond 70. And you can stretch the different height or different width. Let's go back to 70. Now, if you click this lock aspect ratio, you really want to do that most of the time. Let's go to 40 and make it smaller. Notice it will, in, it will decrease the height as well. It'll, um, it won't stretch too wide or too high. It'll keep the same ratio. So watch, the Google image will be small. There's a bug there because the image is covering the actual edge of the edge of the 70. You want to change the, the 70 to something smaller. But you experiment with this, you get the idea. It's basically idea. Now, just remember the trans. When you do use, you can use your own images. You can use your own images. Just click, click that, open image, and then find the location of your image on your desktop or wherever you are. You just go to Google Images, look for transparent PNG, topic of your choice. You can do it without transparent PNGs, as long as it's got a decent background. Just use the transparency, color of your choice. Now, I'll show you something really cool to use. Let's go. Um, we'll go here so we can see it. Low punch. Now, Let's do it another way. Um, click that. Go to solid. Go to drop it. There we go. That's how we can do it. You just make a new image so you can do this. Now watch this eyedropper tool here. Now watch just here on the top right there. Everywhere, everything you go to is going to show the hex code for the color that you're on. Look, even images. This is handy when you want to do a transparent background. You want to find out the color, the exact color of the background, then find the hex code. 
Remember the hex code? Memorize it. Then go into the, the image, details, transparent color. Choose a color and type in the hex code. 44RR66, for example. And that will, oh, that's, sorry, you know, you get the idea. Let's go green. I'll show you an example of a transparent color. Let's go green. That green's nearly the same as that, but at tolerance level zero, you're not going to be able to see it. So let's go to 25%, see what happens. No, it's still visible. Let's go all the way to 99%. There we go, see? 99% is enough to cover all that green because it's a close enough color. We'll go to 50%. 50% is not enough. It's all one color, so if it was a variety of different greens, some parts of it would be transparent and some parts of it wouldn't be. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's go this. We'll go gradient. Gradients are cool. You can do circular or other ones. Now, let's go from black to white. Let's. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't tried this method, but... Hang on. Yeah, gradient. All right, let's... Let's just open a new one so we can get to the drop eyedropper tool out and just choose solid color. Click that, okay. Now, 939393. All right. I can't do that because it's not an image, but let's say it's an image. Let's find another image. Um, Let's find, these are all general same color images, so it's not one. Let's go yellow, because that's got a, a shader to it. So let's just move the Linux icon here. All right, let's go details, has a transparent color. Let's just go, that's close enough to the yellow color. Let's go 25%. There we go, see that? Look, some of the yellows because it's some of the yellows within the tolerance level and it's transparent. Look, you know, just move this, just move this above everything. Let's move it over the fire. Watch, see, it's see-through. Tolerance level, transparent. We'll go to level to five, and more of it will be, you know, all of it's covered. Let's go to 75. Look, see more of it. More of it's transparent. Look, transparent. That's what you do with backgrounds. Now let's I think this line, all my colors here are all, yeah, they're all they're all transparent PNGs anyway. If you want to do it the easy way, just get a transparent PNG off Google Images and you won't need to mess with the tolerance level or already have a transparent background. But other images, you can just modify yourself and get a transparent background. Otherwise, it's going to come out as a weird looking square. So that's, that's the animations for Karate Man. What else can I do? So it's the same idea with all these, like Flawless Victory. No, that's not that's not the wrong one. That's just one you want to. Oops, this one you want to change to to an image. Just click image, select an image, and it'll fill in the image there, and then just type in a text, and just say duty, dude one two three, and voila, and change the color of the dude one two three to whatever you want, whatever just to, so you can see it. And you do a flawless victory. I'll take a sec to load because there's a fire animation. It's quite large. There we go. Now when you want to export something to a GIF, let's do Karate Man, you need to be careful of graphics and anim animations because it can um, it can mess with the file size. You have to test it sometimes. So you go to, you go to when you're done, you go to File, Export, GIF animation. Now make sure not in, in an animation, make sure not to do a PNG images because if you're doing an animation and you've got hundreds of images, it will print out hundreds of of images to your desktop or wherever you're saving them, probably your desktop. So you'll have hundreds of images spammed all over your desktop. You have to delete them all and there'll be more images on your desktop that you don't actually see because they're scrolled off the screen. You have to go through File Explorer to find them and manually delete them. So don't confuse PNG with GIF. And when you, if you do choose PNG uh, for, a, for an image that you draw yourself when you're experimenting, go to here, go to Modify, Movie, Properties. 
The frame rate is how fast the thing loads per second. You can change that, modify that, and see that's this height with the height is the size of the actual file itself. Um, click export settings for movie and go to G PNG and GIF. Now PNG allow changing frame rate. You, that don't that won't matter with um with the PNG because you've got no frame rate. But export transparency. This is important because if you want to do your own images with a ex with a transport transparent background say it's just this karate man with no background so you can use it as, a, as an image that you can import again without the background then you need to tick export export transparency now with gif animation make sure loop is set to forever otherwise it'll only do it one time or however many times you set allow change frame rate now this this can save file size but it fucks up your gif bad don't have this ticked and export transparency usually don't worry about it um but if you, sometimes you even want to export transparency for a GIF, it can be a cool thing to have. But usually you want to have your own colored background on a GIF. But do that as you, as you wish. What else is there? Some simple things I can cover. Um, here's a spanking one. This is funny. Uh, it's loading. Come on, load. And if I test this... There we go, spanking. Just export as a GIF. Just replace, see this here. There's one head and here's another head. All you do is just, um, you do this, just replace, open image, change the image to whatever you want it to be and mess with the transparencies just like normal. Or you can do your own. Here's some samples I've got from the old ones that I've done, images that I've done. You can mess with them yourself, even backgrounds and stuff. You can experiment with that yourself. What else is there? Effects, game graphics, miscellaneous. Random website, I remember this. This one was strange. Really cool kind of animation I did there. That was a test Guild Wars website that I, that I made before I made Build Wars, where I was going to make my second Flash website for, for Guild Wars, but I ended up making a form. Uh, what else we got here? All kinds of stuff. Just, just some sample stuff I got out of my list. This code section is really handful, handy. Here's a star field. Watch this. I don't have code to switch this off. The only way to switch this off is actually to make another scene. You just click here, insert scene. Now, if this will have a click script. This is all the code for it to run the script. And you see on frame two, stop. If, you, if I don't have that stop on frame two, it's going to immediately go into scene two. And scene two, it'll load because there's no other frames. It'll load straight back to scene one. It'll just rapidly load back and forth. So if I... Sometimes it's unpredictable. If I do this, it should rapidly load. Okay, this it won't it won't do it. So what I'll do? Scene two. Let's go scene two. Movie and stop. And I'll do. I'll make that an image. Click that. Click that. Add script events self. It's not a button. It's just an image. So self. Uh, go to and play frame. Target scene, scene two, frame one. Now what will happen, well this star field should disappear. No it doesn't, okay. I don't know what I've done there. I'd have to have to test what I've done there. But normally it should actually disappear. Not sure why it's not, I'll, I have to probably have to do some other scripts to load custom data, anyway it doesn't matter. You mess with that yourself. What else have got here? All kinds of stuff. Magnets is cool. Check this out. You won't be able to load this in an animation or anything. This is an interactive thing. As each, it's made of each little ball here. Each they got the same script on each little ball, as you can see. And this is the script. 
I think it's in Action Script 3. You don't want to mess with the file versions or anything, just leave it with Action Script 3. There's some things I do in Action Script 2 that I, that um is a lot easier to use, but don't don't worry about that. Just use Action Script 3 for now. You can change the depth of the magnet and force. You can ch mess with the numbers and see what happens if you want, but don't don't overwrite the original so original save file. Just make a new file. What else we got here? kinds of stuff. Filters. Here's, uh, this is more complex stuff. This is the way how to, how to code filters. Different sh shadows and stuff like that. But there's the glow script version is the glow effect is the easiest way to do it. Glowing text and you'll see if you click the glowing text. This is an easy way to do a glow and just this code here, the six digit number, is the hex code for the color you want to change color you just go click color and just seal the hex code just all this up here or you can use the color wheel to choose manually choose your own custom one but find a hex code for any color and just fill that hex code in here after ox and if i click that it should have a there we go glowing glowing gold around the the text you change these numbers to change different uh, different components of the effect. Mess with that yourself and see what they do. Pretty simple. What else? What else? Custom mouse. Fill those FS commands. Just show FS commands is a simple thing. On frame one and on frame two, stop. These these two are FS commands that you can simple commands that you can do. Show full screen, which means if you're making an EXE. Now what you do is you go File, Export to EXE. If you have a portable projector, you can do this and that as well, but just use it for here. Just go uh, S Export SWF or EXE if you want to make your own program. Show full screen. This command will make your program automatically load in full screen. This FS command will show menu false. Um, I'll give you an example. Let's just load this script into Karate Man social media. Now it should actually f stop the Eric. It'll fr because there's a frame two stop. It will stop it on frame two. However, watch. There's no menu. This settings in Macromedia Flash Player was in Flash Player version six at the moment. Um, I usually use ten, but notice the play controls aren't there. There's only settings and Macromedia, and notice it loads in full screen too. I can exit full screen. It loads in full screen and the menu's gone. That's these two commands here. Now if I delete this, let's leave frame two stop. Let's just delete this script here. It won't load in full screen and all these menu items are there. So that's what that stuff does. That's handy, hand, that's handy code to add. Now since I'm in, obviously I'm in Flash version six, I should be using ActionScript 2.0. So it, I think that's compatible with 2.0 and 3.0. So you shouldn't worry about it. Well, what else we got here? You can, ask, you can ask me about any of this stuff if you want to know. These animations work similar to the Karate Man. Double team. This one uses the same Karate Man. Simple animations, really. These are different parts of the Darth Vader and all the animations, but you see here's the Karate Man animations, these ones here. Same as always, look, change the color, skin, black background, shadow. Just change that with every animation to change the Karate Man skin color, suit color, and everything, and even the, the, back, the background shape, shape color. The thing is, when you mess with different colors, hang on, that's not doing it. Oh, that's right, the gray's actually the built in background. It's, you can't change that on this one anyway. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Ah, uh, bugger. I forgot what I was going to say. Something to do with changing colors. But anyway, you can change the colors of everything there. Oh, what other code we got? This is flames, lightning. I'll just show flames. 
you've got two scripts on this. One is an example of using an animation or a script to follow your mouse. You can use that with the mouse hider so that this beco this become this fire can become your mouse. Pretty cool trick to do. Or you can just have it as, as a standard static fire that you can place wherever you want. You can use this fire move mouse movement script and use the idea for other things like my game. Lightning. Uh, this lightning has various samples of lightning. Here's just simple lightning. I've in my game I've actually built a moving animation of lightning that swells around the cursor. This is really simple simple to make. I I don't know what that was this scene was in there. It was from something I had did from ages ago, it doesn't matter. But it's just to say the light moving the lightning. What it is is there's a series of different lines that I've drawn, gone just zigzagging everywhere. I've done them on different lines. Well, I'll just hide all the rest of them. You see, just look, drawing a zigzag line. And what I've done is I've done two copies of it, two identical copies of it. And what I've done is the first one is just white. It's a line, a white line of with a uh, width of one. And I've done the other, I've done the same, I've copied the same line in the same exact position. What I've done is I've made it a width of 15 pixels. And I've changed the color to it, and I've changed it to a color of blue, some bluish color, and I've changed alpha to 25%. Alpha is the transparency. 100% is full view. 50% is 50% see through, 25% is like that. And all it is, is it is an animation of these. Flat, it, on, off, on, fade. On, off, on, fade. They all do the same on, off, on, off, on, off, on, fade from different different drawings and different different positions. See? Just as simple. They on, off, fade, and they appear at different... They should appear at different times. I'm not sure where the script is to run that. Oh, okay, there. That's how I've done it. They they appear and disappear at different times. So that's how that works. It's not that complex. Anyone can do it. What else have I got here that I can show? There's a matrix code animation. You can look through that in detail yourself. And the game graphics of... Different game graphics I've done. For example, Mario. Mario is a series of six different... One, seven, I think. No, six. And all I do is every few frames I change one of the one of the frames enters and one of the frames exits. Right click, place, remove. And then I add at the end a script, simple script. Right click, movie, go to play, frame and stop or whatever. And it just goes through a sequ sequence. These all different drawings. In fact the first one's different. In, cha in this, you can change the different colors. Look, just like the Karate Man. Let's make him green. Green. Another green. And blue. And one of these frames will be green and blue. Whoops. Oh, where am I going? That one. See? Same with the Karate Man, just change them all to, you can turn him into Lu Luigi. So anyway, that's just some examples of the code that I've given. His glass and buttons, that's handy. Emoticons. Anyway, that's just a sample video I'm going to do. If you want to learn more about it, ask me about it. I just made this video uh, for anyone who wants to learn how to make the animations that I make and use my own code and graphics and draw your own. I can show you how to draw your own if you want. The, the way I draw Mario, for example, what it is, it's a complicated way that I imported graphics into Flash. I can teach you how to do that too. You have to be really tricky about it and you have to line pixels up in the right way and everything and then you just zoom right into it and then you, and you can zoom further in and you do guides, show, snap to whatever pixel 
you want to tolerance. Snap to pixels is important. And watch, it'll snap to see it snaps to exact pixel size. So I can do sh instead of if I don't do that, watch what's going to happen. It's not going to be lined. It's not going to snap in place. But this this one. This one snapped in place exactly by the pixels. This one didn't. And it's different shape in that too. If that's good for drawing, if you want to know about drawing, I'll teach you. Alright, that'll be enough for now. I can go on for ages over this. Alright. I'll end the video.